like if it takes a, a fan of you, someone that's in support of you, just you know what I'm saying? Like I, I fuck with easy, but this this wasn't it. And it's just an opinion, dog. I wasn't talking shit. You know what I'm saying? You you sign this, you sign the Eminem to get this love for Eminem, but you just you this was your opportunity to goddamn bang, bro. You ain't banging though. You ain't banging. You getting dunked on with Eminem all in your mouth. <laughs> This is a story a boy meets girl, but you should know up front, this is not a love story. Recently, I made a video speaking on the Steve Knight and the Easy Mail beef. Fam, it was heating up. It was heating up. And in the comment section, you guys let me know, hey, this guy Steve Knight took the video down where he's reacting to Easy Mail dissing him. I was like, that can't be. And when I went to his channel, I seen that they had an interview schedule. Oh, man. So this was good. Let's check this out. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe. Drop some comments while you're watching it. Share the video. All right, let's go. When I hit you up, I was like, bro, right after I did the reaction, sent you the DM. And what I say? Said it's all love. Uh, Said it's all love. Right? Yeah. Said yeah. it's all love, so, dog. Uh, you know what I mean? And, yeah. Opinion, and I have my opinion about your opinion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's, but yeah, but that's, 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 but that's, that's the good thing about like this shit, bro. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm not trying to be biased. I like both of these guys' content. I like Easy Mills' music, and I definitely like Steve Knight's, you know, reactions to both his channels. Knight talks all of that, but it seems like he's coming with an approach of, I, I love your stuff, so you shouldn't say anything about me, and it's like, nah. <laughs> like you gave him criticism, so he should be allowed to give you criticism. He had an opinion about your opinion. So yeah, kudos to to Easy Mill for standing his ground on that. Me not even knowing how to speak the language properly. Yeah, was uh, yo, I gotta do something. So it like that threw me off, bro. Like you not turning up to what I was saying. <laughs> I was saying like, yeah, that, like that's on some crunch timelines. Like what? Oh, you can't what? Like, that's, that, it was wild to me. Yeah. That was cool. So it sounds like Easy Mill is coming from a I was a fan of you, and now I'm seeing you telling me that I'm not going in. That sounds crazy to me. Which okay, that's fair. Like you gotta be able to take criticisms, but also, and I hate when people try to make it seem like you can't do this, but you can give criticism as well. You can say an opinion is stupid. <laughs> it's all right. Right, that, that's not the end of the world. I don't know why people make it seem like that's the case. And I never said your shit was whack. I praised you. Like matter of fact, I did a whole reaction to my reaction of that because I wanted to see exactly what the fuck I said. They like sent easy on this rampage and shit. And it was one part. Like, all right, I was like, it was like, all right. I, I think I think this one part probably could have. I forgot I said it when this part. I was like, yeah, Eminem had dunked on you and shit and had his nuts in your mouth. You you signed us. You signed to Eminem to get this love for Eminem, but you just you. This was your fucking opportunity to goddamn bang, bro. You ain't banging, though. You ain't banging. You getting dunked on with Eminem's dick all in your mouth. <laughs> Fam, we got to call a spade a spade. That was disrespectful. That was extremely disrespectful. We can't throw rocks and hide our hands. That's a huge pet peeve of mine. I don't like when people try to go at you. And then when you go back at them as well, I don't understand why you would ever. What, Lou on me? I didn't say nothing to disrespect you. It's all on you. You got to have tougher skin. Come on, bro. Now, I like Steve Knight's content, but fam, that's just wild. You got to stand on what you stand on. You, you said something. Keep it real. You you definitely disrespected this man. I heard you was have fucking did a whole like diss record on me. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm a fucking fan, dog. Like, I'm not like this real enemy is easy out here. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm I'm on your side, dog. You feel me? Like he fucking shoot the shots at me. I, I mean I take it. Like I I'll, 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 I'll fucking I sacrificed myself to have that dog come out. See what I mean? Throwing a rock, hiding your hands. Like I'm a fan. I'm Okay, that can be possible, but then you still was talking crazy. You are at a certain place right now the way you have no variety. So you know how it feels where someone is a fan or they could be going crazy in the comment section and talking to you wild to where you would not accept that. You were out of pocket. We got to call a spade a spade. As men, we got to take accountability. You out of pocket. So bare minimum, 
easy male is entitled or allowed to give his opinion on your opinion. Shouldn't be a big deal. I'm curious though, bro, though. Mm -hmm. A fight, man. A fight. <laughs> I, there ain't no excuses, bro. I mean, there are excuses, but at the end of the day, like, I didn't get what I wanted to get done. I'm going to get back in the fucking ring. Goddamn ASAP, dog. But, like, point, like, moral of the story is, dog, I got in my head and I blacked out and I wasn't thinking right. You know what I'm saying? So, oh. like, if you've never been in the ring before, it's kind of hard to, like, relate to it. Like, I, I, I beat myself. Like, that motherfucker didn't beat me. I beat myself. Like, I saw black. I wasn't. I wasn't doing anything that I had been training for, so I feel like I let myself down, let all my fucking fam down, my camp down, and all that shit, bro. This is crazy. It's gonna sound like I'm a hater, but nah, I just gotta call a spit a spit. How the heck Steve say that he's not gonna make excuses and then gives you a long list of excuses? He's gonna keep going with the excuses too. This is this is not the the be a man Steve Knight that I'm used to seeing, and it's not me sending you know. Sending attacks his way. I just got to call a spade a spade. It just, this seems odd. But I'm going I'm to I'm get back in there, dog. You know what I mean? Thinking that inside the ring? No, nah, so, because, like, what? Because the dude, I don't even, like, mention in... I, I, bro, the, the worst part about that situation is that that clown is part of my narrative, bro. Like, he's a fucking clown. He's a clown. <laughs> And he's part of my fucking narrative, dog. I hate that shit. That shit eats me alive, dog. You know what I mean? And if 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 you saw my my response to how I felt about the fight, the video I dropped, like the the first time I got I was put on the canvas is because the motherfucker stepped on my foot. But not. But I knew I, you. I, I have a fucking. I, I zoomed in on when that shit happened, bro. Like this motherfucker six five two fifty stepped on my foot, and then he keeps going with the excuses. This is crazy. I swear I'm not trying to like call them out. This video is not with the intentions on me to try to bash Steve Knight. I really do enjoy his content. But how you say that you're not going to make excuses, then you make excuses. Now, I commend you for getting in there, but you lost. Just either take it or you train and get that rematch. If I was him, I would have needed that rematch. Clown or whatever. I don't care. Let's get the rematch. Let me go in there and do what I said I was going to do and actually take it serious. That's how a champion is. You think if George St. Pierre lost the fight, he would be like, OK, it is what it is. No, he would train and ask for that rematch immediately. That's just me, my personal opinion. You know what I mean? That's just that sound like I was about to say that's just meow. <laughs> that's just my personal opinion and all that stuff so i'm trying to back up that's why i went down but it looks like i got knocked down so once that shit happened i'm like oh fuck it looks like to the world this motherfucker just put me on the goddamn ground and my fucking head was gone at that point i was toast right and so i, yeah, I just that, that that point in terms of like your video i heard up until that point like um when you said like damn that's crazy like the 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 like the situational like you know change and like your thought in terms of like in you know, a fight you know situation and that's man yeah. <laughs> easy mail gotta be trolling that's funny <laughs> that's funny he like hey ain't nothing i could tell you pimp you should have been bobbing and weaving instead of sticking and moving give like give you game is that like it's just constructive criticism for me you know I mean, and my, constru my constructive criticism puts you in your bag, like made you feel a way to like address me in a fucking diss record, dog. And real shit, I didn't really say nothing like that for for compared to like real trolling shit. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, especially with you attached to M now, and you got the fucking magnifying glass on you that much fucking more, bro. Like you gonna have to get some fucking thick ass skin, dog. Like if it take if it takes. A, a fan of you, someone that's in support of you, just, you know what I'm saying, like, I, I fuck with easy, but this, this wasn't it, and it's just an opinion, dog, I wasn't talking shit, you know what I'm saying, you, you signed this, you signed the Eminem to get this love for Eminem, but you just, you, this was your fucking opportunity to goddamn bang, bro, you ain't banging, though, you ain't banging, you getting dunked on with Eminem's dick all in your mouth. <laughs> Yo, fam, Stevie Knight trying to flip this as in i was just giving you some constructive criticism i didn't say nothing disrespectful you just can't take criticism if you're a fan 
you coming out here publicly to try to put that as an easy meal image of, hey, guys, he can't take criticism when he just got signed with Eminem and all this attentions on him. A real fan wouldn't do that. You wouldn't try to put that image up. It's just it seems like and this is not me taking, you know, metaphorical shots at Stevie Knight, but it just seems like his ego is saying, I want to get the W. I want to seem like I come out on top, even when his boxing and stuff, you lost. And it's all oh, he stepped on my foot and this and my I blacked out and whatever you lost is all a part of the game. But instead of taking the loss, it's oh, this and this and this and this is the excuse and wait till I come back. OK, well, we'll see. You know what I mean? I am rooting for you. I would like to see you get a rematch with the guy that knocked you out in your sanctioned boxing match that you agreed to. Right. But now, even in this point, right, even at this part, you still can't just take the L fam. Like you said something about him. You got disrespectful. He roasted you. You why you're trying you're trying to make it seem like he can't take criticism just because you got offended. That's wrong. And they got you feeling the way. Like what what's gonna happen when somebody really like, man, fuck this motherfucker. He trash, like fuck what he talking about. Da, 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 da. You know what I'm saying? What's gonna happen then, dog? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You feel me though? Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Yeah, I mean, and guess I guess like uh I I got my thick I got my skin thickened already by a lot of the things, so um, that's not even regards to like what all this internet stuff, like how we even came about, and yeah. then how you know what I'm saying. Yeah. So it's just like for me, I hope I hope the best for everyone. He handled that extremely well, extremely well, fam. Yes, right. There's enough stuff out here for us all to succeed. You know what I mean? You don't have to try to aim for someone else's success. Their success ain't your success. There's some people that's out here jealous of Easy Mail because he got these opportunities. So I don't really like how Steve is painting this. And I'm not trying to come at him. I don't want people to think I'm a hater of him. I'm a supporter. I actually genuinely watch him, right? I'm not like calling by his name or any of the, these things. I just, I don't know. I like the, I don't like the way he's presenting this. That's, 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 that's interesting though, bro, because it's like... If someone just is not vibing with your shit or fucking with your shit, they the enemy at that point. Just because you, you, they didn't like it, they're not vibing with your shit the way you think they need to. Yo, that's crazy. Why are you trying to paint this narrative with this man? You say you were a fan, dude. And I know some people might be like, but BX, he could still say it's a pain. Of course. But if you don't see the way that this is being presented in such negative light, come on, man. Come on, all just because Steve wants to be presented as the winner, the victor in the conversation. When, mind you, he's giving you more love. He's showing you love by even doing this interview. I don't know. It just it just don't sit well with me. And either way, I'm still going to be a fan of both of them and support them. Speaking of support, go and check out both of these guys' content. I will be linking them in the description as sources. Also, check out my other videos. Check out the video I did previous to this about the same subject to where it explains the whole beef from the beginning and check out my other videos. This channel is dedicated to video essays, so all my videos on here are going to be detailed. You know, just binge watch if you can. Support me, no extra, by signing up for my memberships or my Patreon. I have Patreon packages for a dollar. All the links are in the description. Follow me on Twitter. Also, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. See you guys later.